Hi everyone, it's Limu with Lace Covered Skies. I'm here today with a unboxing. I was sent some items from BB Craft and I'm so excited to start working with these. Now before I get into the items, let me share some information with you guys. Um, I'm going to have all the information for BB Craft in the description box below. So go there for the links and everything but they sent me these items to unbox and to review i'm super excited to start working with them i picked items you'll see in a minute that to me seemed mid-century i don't know if they actually are mid-century but in my mind this is what mid-century is <laughs> because i'm planning to make some embellishments um a dangle and some paper clip, beaded paper clips um, using these items. But these were sent to me. I got to pick out some items and they were sent to me to unbox and to review. If you want to go ahead and check out their website, please look in the description box below my video. If you use the code LACE10, you will get 10% off your order. Um, at the timing of this video, I'm gonna hopefully get this up soon. They are having a year-end clearance sale. So if you wanna check to see if they still have that going on, I would definitely do that. Um, there were so many items on their website that I could not narrow down what I wanted. I finally, after looking at all the different areas, picked out these items so let's go ahead and let me get into this here so I'm always looking for hardware when it comes to um, anything for journal making either book plates um, book corners things like that and fasteners and closures but I've never found these so I picked this out these are for the end or the spine of your book that's one of the uses I'm probably gonna find other uses for these now they are a little bigger than I anticipated them to be I didn't look at the measurement carefully enough um, but it, it's a brad and you put a little hole in your spine and you can dangle something off of it. So I will be using this in the tutorial, but I love that this comes in all different colors. I don't think it's gonna matter that it's big for my purposes. Um, I'm still super excited to try these out. So there's four different colors. And I've never used this, so this is, I was excited to find this on there. It does come in a little container, which I think is really cool to stay organized. So that's one item. Now I picked out these beads. I don't know why I love these beads so much. Let me try to get this in the right area here. I don't know why it seems mid-century to me. It is on, it's like a string of beads, but there's a little bit of etching here. It's a gray color, and I don't know, it looks, it looks like vintage retro or mid-century to me. I can't wait to experiment with these. All right, so there's that. And then I got these little beads. They have little floral designs. And of course, I am super into florals. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that. They're just really cute, intricate little designs. Floral designs. 
and I don't know why I feel like these are mid-century I know they're not but I just feel like they would work well with the mid-century style and I cannot wait to get started with these so there's that and then there are some really pretty bead caps These were a little bit pricier, and I can see why. They're very detailed. They look very elegant. So there's that. And then this last item here, I thought rounded everything out really nicely. These kind of remind me of those Christmas candies, I think. Um... I don't know why they look mid-century to me <laughs> okay, let's open it up and take a look at a few of the designs so there's a little rose and the hole is at the top so you'll see the face of the rose there's this diamond shape here there's a shell And the hole is at the top. There's a teardrop shape. Okay, I let me see where the hole is for that one. There's this. The hole is at the top here. This oval shape. This one's super cute. Do you guys see what I mean by I like to me it seems mid-century? Okay, so the hole is right here at the top of this teardrop and then there's this one and the thing about th these flat shapes is that definitely if you can work for um, altered paper clips or dangles but they can also go inside the journal because they're so flat and that's one of the reasons why I chose them Let me look at this. Okay, it was just a little bit... The top and the bottom were just a little bit blocked. But yeah. Um, these could work inside the journal. I'm thinking as like buttons on something or drawer pulls or just little embellishments inside the journal because like I said they are flat and same with these these flat ones as well they could be used inside the journal and not add too much bulk but yeah I wanted to do this video so that I could crack into these and start experimenting with them and working with them and coming up with some cool ideas for my current journals right now. So once again, go ahead and check out the links down below. If you want 10% off your order, you can use the code LACE10. But stay tuned for my tutorial videos using these items. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked today's video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you have not already and thanks again so much for watching and i will talk to you next time bye everyone